Again, we can observe that the design of the beam is adequate for the construction stage load or what is considered the self-weight of the element. However, if we now select the recently added load effect, we can observe that the resultant design moments exceed the permissible values given by the design code. In other words, the load capacity of this beam is insufficient to meet the design requirements of our bridge. Now, while the software provides some tools for automatically suggesting design solutions, these tools only apply to pre-stressed elements. For reinforced concrete elements though, the process is more manual. Namely, the only way to approach this is by modifying the concrete section, the design of the reinforcement, or both, which, once again, depends solely on the structural engineer's criteria. Well, this time we have obtained more appropriate results. Furthermore, if we now check the previous load effect, we can observe that we've achieved a much improved safety ratio. But again, how we approach redesigning any given element entirely depends on the structural engineer's criteria, as the ramifications of any changes must be considered. For now, you've acquired the necessary knowledge to go through the basic design and analysis workflow within Autodesk Structural Bridge Design.